Hey, sorry to interrupt, but don't forget the meeting starts in 10. Oh, right. Thanks for the reminder. <laughs> Madison Morris. Oh, yeah. No, I'm expecting the uh, new draft today. Uh, okay. Yeah, no worries. We will definitely make the revisions by the deadline. Okay. Bye. Hey. Hey. Alec, uh, to what do I owe this surprise? Well, you know, in my head, the pop-up felt like a good idea, but it looks like I might have caught you at a bad time. Oh, well, there's never anything but around here. It's never a dull moment. Well... I was thinking about you, and I wanted to brighten your day. Wow, thank you. These are beautiful. I was kind of hoping I could steal you for lunch. I was thinking I might be a little bit more difficult to turn down in person. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just, um, excuse me. Madison Morris. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, well, that's not going to work because I can't give you any more extensions. I, yeah, I got to turn around these notes by COB. Great. Okay, well, I'm running into a meeting. I'll call you after. All right, thanks. Uh, Alec, I'm so sorry. No, 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 don't be sorry. It's my fault. Bad time. What about dinner, though? Uh, you didn't say no. How's 7 o'clock? Good. Pick you up at 7. Have a good day. <sighs> Man, I was like, look at her. Thank you. You really wore something today. Something? Something like what? Something like a young, hot, executive boss lady <laughs> ready to take on the world. <laughs> yeah, right. No, seriously, you were in charge. You were confident. You were tough, but kind. You know, all the makings of a woman on the move. A woman in charge. Wow. You saw all that just in a few minutes and in my office? Yeah, yeah, I was impressed. But I wasn't surprised. You were, you've really taken the ball and run with it. I was proud of you. No, uh, thank you. I mean, I do love it. And I have learned so much. <laughs> but enough about me. I mean, what about you? How does it feel to be the man of the hour? I see your face everywhere. Oh, it's not everywhere. Side of a few buildings. <laughs> the buses going by. Oh, humble as ever, I see. Oh, uh, you know, I, I really feel like I found my calling here. You know, when my playing career ended as abruptly as it did, I wasn't sure I was going to be able to find myself again, you know? But now, if I can't play football, at least I can talk about it. You mean rant about it, don't you? Oh, come on. I'm just telling the truth, you know? And the fact that I have a co-host makes it a fair exchange of ideas. Now, yeah, well, I'm not sure that DeMarco Fox would say it was fair. Oh, DeMarco. No boy means well. He's just afraid of a little fire, you know? And I just happen to be the match that keeps him lit. It's kind of what makes us work. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, again, so humble. All right, but... Listen, I'm just not afraid to say what a lot of people are thinking. You know, the, the, the brutal truth, the sometimes controversial perspective, but raw honesty. And isn't that what the world needs a little bit more of these days? I mean, I think that truth and honesty are a rare commodity these days. Was that shot aimed at me? <laughs> Are you saying that I somehow haven't been honest with you? I mean, I'm just wondering, Alec. Does your fiancé know that you weren't going to be home for dinner? Is her cooking as tight as those short skirts she wears? Madison, I told you that's over. It was over when I saw you at the shelter. You know, Shelly, she was never really the one. You know, she hardly knew me. So, I told her, respectfully, that our relationship is over, and then I politely threw her out. <laughs> Alec, that doesn't sound polite to me. Yeah, well, 
If I'm gonna be honest about it, it was because of you. I mean, you really, really opened my eyes. You made me take a look inside and see what kind of man I really want to be. More importantly, what kind of woman I want in my life. I mean, I need somebody that knows my heart and touches it every day. Somebody like you. I miss you. I think about you every day. Can't stop. Why don't you give me a chance? Let me show you how much I care about you. Why don't you give us a chance? Yeah, that was good. It was. So, what do you think? Come by the house, have a nightcap? Uh, I really need to get home now to the kids. And honestly, Alec, uh, my heart is on lockdown. Well, listen, if I promise no funny stuff, I really just don't want the night to end just yet, you know? That sounds nice. It does, but, um, maybe another time. Maybe so. Thank you. You're welcome. Drive safe, okay? Uh, I will. Let me know when you make it home. Yeah, I'll text you. All right. Okay, good night. Good night. I hear you, but I cannot understand any of these new rappers. What does it say? You gotta act like the style. You gotta actually listen. Hi. Hi. Did you guys, uh... Eat up the dinner that I left for you? Yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, Jackie and I were just going to finish our homework. Right, Jackie? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Night, Dad. Night, champ. Night, princess. Good night. Love, Love you. you. Love you, too. Jake, surprised to see you here. What? A father can't spend a little time with his kids now? Ah, uh, the last time you spent time with your kids was weeks ago. Jackie's shoes have gotten three sizes bigger. But you know what? Why don't you just spit it out and tell me why you're really here? Look, I was just trying to give you a little space for you to calm down a little bit. Oh, yeah, right. You mean calm down since you ran to L.A. with your client and left your family high and dry? You know it wasn't like that. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe you're still trying to lie about this. Jake just admitted while you were sleeping with me, trying to convince me that you loved me and that you wanted your family back, you were also sleeping with your latest conquest, who also happens to be your client. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It looks bad. <sighs> Maddie, I really do love you. You guys are my family. And I want to come home. Think about the kids. Oh. They need their father. Okay. No, stop. Don't do that. Don't use our children to manipulate my emotions. That's not going to work anymore. I said I'd start making regular payments, and I was serious about that. Okay, well, I really want to throw this back in your face, along with you out the door. I'm not going to do that. You know why? Because of them. They deserve better and more than what's in this envelope. So, on their behalf, thank you and good night. Back. Why do you always have to harp on the negative? Can we ever find something positive we both can agree on for once? Okay, man, look. I'm never going to agree with you on anything I don't agree with. You're impossible, man. Okay, now, maybe if you could come up with a, a sensible perspective on, I don't know, anything, 
we could find some common ground. So you're saying I'm not sensible, Alec? Really? Just saying. Some of the stuff that you say. Hey, you no, you hey, 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 guys, let's uh, save for the show. I someone I'd like you to meet. Veronica Isaacs is our new executive vice president of programming and production. Hi, Veronica. Nice to meet you. Alec Darby. Yes. I'm DeMarco Fox. DeMarco Fox. Very nice to meet you. Okay, I'm here. What happened? Tell me how it went. Mm, what? You know what? Dinner with Alec. Don't leave me hanging. Okay, well, Lainey, you were right all along. Hmm. He admitted that he missed me and that he thinks about me all the time. See, I told you, he got a bad for you. What about that gold digging fiance? She's still hanging around him. Hmm. According to Alec, no. He threw her out. He actually said that something I said opened his eyes. Wait, what? Give me the deets. What happened? What else did you open? Oh my gosh, nothing. Did you go into his room and, you know... No, no. But I thought about it. Hard. Oh. No, I... <laughs> no, you know what? Lainey, the last thing I need is to jump into bed with this man and realize that I checked myself into the Heartbreak Hotel again. You better go ahead and jump before somebody else does. Besides, not every man lives at that hotel. Yeah, well, but they all got a key in a room with a view. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Be quiet. Well, hello. Hi, Alec. Well, hello to you. I want to thank you for dinner. Oh, no. I'm the one who should be thanking you. <laughs> well, that's actually not the only reason I called. Um... I'm sorry in advance for the last minute invitation, but I was wondering if you would be my plus one to a work event tomorrow night. Tomorrow? Yeah, Rex was supposed to go with me, but apparently he landed some hot date and canceled on me. Network is celebrating the success of the show, and apparently Harbaugh has become GTN's signature hit, so they're doing a big press event. Well, congratulations. But I'm not sure I can make it tomorrow. Say yes, whatever it is, just go. Get quiet. Ah, uh, you sure? Being the star of the show, it's going to look kind of weird for me to show up by myself. And honestly, I can't think of anybody else I'd rather have with me. Okay. Yes, it, it sounds like fun. Great. Um, can you meet me at the studio? We're filming an episode before the event, and... Um, we can go from there. I can give you a tour. How's six o'clock? All right, six o'clock it is. Awesome. I look forward to it. I'll see you then. Yeah, me too. Bye. Well, now what am I going to wear? Come on, girl. Let's work on this closet. <laughs> hey. Hey. Mind if I come in? No, of course not. What can I do for you? Well, you look amazing. That color is gorgeous with your eyes. Uh, thank you. What can I help you with? <laughs> well, Mr. Darby, congratulations on the success of the show. Network's party tonight is a really big deal. A lot of A-listers, sports stars, but you are the biggest one of them all. Come on, Kate. <laughs> Yeah, you. I think so. I do. You know, you're the you're the man of the hour. You've captured the fascination of the country. Come on, you know that. Men are loving your whole no punches commentary and the women, well, they just um they seem to love you. You have put our startup network on the map. That's a lot. I'm not sure I'm buying all that. <laughs> thank you. Oh, no need to eat that humble pie. I have an idea. How about you and me go to the party together tonight? What do you think? You know, with your star power and my new executive title, we can make a dramatic entrance, drive the press crazy. It will be front page news. What do you say? Uh, yeah, we probably would, but unfortunately I already have a date, so I'm not going to be able to make that happen. Oh, I, um... Sorry, I didn't, I didn't realize there was a Mrs. Darby. Um, is it serious? You know what, though? I do think that DeMarco RSVP'd solo, and I'm sure he'd be delighted to accompany you. And he could actually use the front page news, so it's a win-win. And now, with all the wealthy black people in the United States, Michael Jordan is the only one that owns a pro team. 
What's up with that? I mean, the NFL has been around for a hundred years and still no black owners. Now, we're fine to go out there and risk our neck to make them a lot of money, but they do their best to keep us out of that owner's box where the real money is. Hey, there's been a lot of progress, though, right? Look at all the black athletes in leadership positions, the coaches, the quarterbacks. You didn't see that years ago, so the Rooney rule is working, obviously. Okay, but when you look at the stats, how can you really say that? I mean, sure, we made some progress getting more diversity when it first came out, but now we're about back where we started. But look how many teams had black quarterbacks. Not just backups. The other starters, they're in the playoffs. Okay, but I'm, I'm talking about ownership, DeMarco. A hundred years, and still not one black owner. No. They keep those franchises in their families, going on second and third generations. We can't get in this elite circle if we try. And you're not going to like it, but I'm going to tell you anyway. It's racist. Oh, my gosh. Really? The first thing you people want to cry is racism. But how many of us you know have two to three billion dollars laying around to buy a team? First of all, last time I checked, you are one of you people. Secondly, Reggie Fowler had the money, tried, couldn't get the votes. It's not always about the money. Man, there was a rare instance. Exactly my point. A hundred years. And no matter what, we can't get a break. A blind man could see this, bro. Well, so now you're calling me blind. Well, I'm not the one that's blind as a bat. At least I can see it's time to wrap it up for now. I'm DeMarco Fox. And I'm Alec Darby, taking a time out until the next hardballing. Okay, clear. Bro, don't make me have to tell you again. I don't appreciate those little digs you keep throwing my way on the air, man. Why do you take everything so personal, man? It's just a show. Get over it. You look amazing. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Hey, I don't know if you've met my co-host, DeMarco Fox, DeMarco, Madison Morris. Well, I guess it's true what they say. Beauty and the Beast. Opposites really do attract. It's nice to meet you, Madison. Nice meeting you too, DeMarco. Okay, with the smile. Come on. <laughs> Show you Bye. Around. Gosh, I hate him. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Hank. Mm. Well, looks like the show was a bona fide hit, brother. Come on, so let's keep it going. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mr. Darby, over here. You've said some pretty harsh things about the NFL and its owners on your show. Are you dishing out payback for being cut from the league? No, no. It's just speaking a little truth to power. Don't get it confused. Never hurt nobody. And what's the deal between you and DeMarco Fox? Are you for real adversaries on and off camera, or is all the fighting just for ratings? Uh, yeah, no, we're good. It's just for the show. I like him. He's a good guy. So you're saying y'all got a romance going? Because it seems like frenemies. And who is this lovely lady with you tonight? Is this the new boo? You know what? Actually, that's, excuse me, it's a very, very good question. I'm sure all the ladies out there are dying to know. DeMarco, come, let's get a photo off. Okay, thank you. Hi. Thank you. Okay, we're done. Go on. Thanks. Miss Isis, if I can ask you a few more questions. Yes, please. So, basically, um... idea how well the show is actually doing <laughs> networks already talking about picking up another season wow um that's terrific hey i hope you had a good time i mean the party was really something you know the food the celebrities the media yeah i'm sorry i forgot how crazy it can be to be thrust in that spotlight walking a gauntlet <laughs> the press can be brutal i'm sorry i have to admit i just wasn't prepared for any of that i certainly wasn't prepared for your new boss she's a piece of work <laughs> yeah she is a bit much i think um she wants you what no you think <laughs> yeah Trust me, a woman knows these things, so just watch out, because don't let her take advantage of you. No, no, that's not going to happen. Only person I want is you. <sighs> Alec. 
click. I'm not sure. I am. And I get more and more sure every time we're together. I think I've been falling in love with you since the day we met. Take us to my place, please. No, it's just I wasn't expecting to fall asleep. And Jackie and Chloe, uh, I got work in the morning. I have no, a meeting. No, 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 no. Just later. The TV desk started to make you soft. Oh, come on, man. Yeah. Don't count on it. Yeah. I just had a late night, that's all. Hell yeah. Yeah, otherwise you'd be getting your ass handed to you like you always do. Don't get cocky. <laughs> late night? That ain't no excuse. I tell you what, I had me a late night. I had a late morning too, but it was worth it. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Every minute of it. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. What you do, call one of your little groupie honeys to be your plus one? Nah, man, I'm finished with that, man. <laughs> Shallow, immature girls looking for a finish line. Mm. I need something real. <clears throat> Somebody as smart as she is beautiful. <clears throat> as deep uh, as she is caring. Okay, uh, what is it? Is it somebody that I know? Uh, you know, I think you might know her. Who is that? Madison. Madison. Is that who you was up late with? You was up late with Madison? <laughs> uh, hey, you sprung. I can see you. Look at you. Your cheese and ear to ear. You man, I ain't seen you smile like this since high school. Remember what was that girl name you was head over heels for? Uh, uh, Regina Jenkins? Yeah, I didn't think you was ever gonna get over her. Okay. Hey, hey. Yeah. All right, now that's still painful. <laughs> the way she dumped me. You're right, I didn't ever get over that one. Leave that one alone, bro. But for Madison, though, I think I'm falling for her, man. Hold me honest. You fell a long time ago. You just didn't want to admit it. Yeah, probably right. Chloe, Jackie, dinner's ready. Mom, hmm? what's going on? What? Yeah, you're not usually in this good a mood after work. No, you're right. I'm feeling pretty good. Ah, uh, there is, um, there's something I need to talk to you about. Uh, uh, I know how much you love your father, and I never want anything to change that. And I hope that you know that I will always care about him, too. We know, Mom. But unfortunately, the romantic part of our relationship is over. Yeah, we've noticed. We've known it for a while now. I mean, of course, I was hoping you guys would get back together, but I get it. You don't make each other happy anymore. Well, I'm glad that you want us both to be happy. And that's kind of what I want to talk to you about. Um, you have been encouraging me to do something more than just work. And there's someone else who agrees with you. Who? Lainey? <laughs> <laughs> no. Although, yes. Um... No, Alec, Mr. Darby. Wait. You mean this guy? Okay, really? <laughs> you just let me go through all of that? Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> all right, fine. So, what do you think? It's cool. I'm happy if you're happy. So, yeah. tell us about the party. Oh. I saw pictures of Drake. Did you get to meet Drake? Drake? Um, I, I think so. You think so? Mom, you don't know. How could you meet Drake and not be Chloe, my Chloe, 
I'm joking. I know who Drake is. You must not drink yes. all sweet. You got to take me next time. Okay. <laughs> Mom, now that you're dating a big time celebrity and you're hanging with some of the hottest celebs, you got to get social. Yeah, you got to have a digital footprint. You guys, come on. You know I don't have any time for that. And plus, I don't want my life out there like that. Uh, but it's already out there. Here, look. See? You can't hide it when you're in the spotlight. That's why you got to define your public image before others do it for you. Mm, we can start it up for you. Yeah, we can manage it too. Yeah, we can post pictures, comments, and responses. We could talk to your followers and answer their questions and keep up with your profile. You won't have to lift a finger. Okay, I'll think about it. But let's eat, all right? You say grace, Jackie. All right. Guess DeMarco must be running a little late. Oh, he's not coming. Sorry? No, I just thought it might be better if it was just the two of us. I, uh, thought this was supposed to be a business dinner. Oh, it is. It absolutely is. Um, I just thought it might be better if, if you and I talked alone first. Okay. So, Alec, I've been thinking about a bunch of things as far as you're concerned, and... I have a couple of ideas for some new segments. The advertisers absolutely love you. Your Q rating is surprisingly high. It's not that surprising. <laughs> oh, see that? And you're funny. And they want to see more of you. Really? Yeah, <laughs> they do. So my ideas for these segments would actually get you from behind the desk, right? So we'd incorporate, you know, doing more remotes, being more active, athletic even. I thought that we could possibly tap into, you know, those relationships with some of your star athletic friends. And maybe you and I could work together on some proposal concepts and we could pitch our ideas I mean, what do you think about that? So I'd be doing these segments alone? <laughs> Essentially. <laughs> you know, somehow I don't see that going over very well with DeMarco. Oh, God, don't you worry about DeMarco. Leave that to me. Your job is to come up with amazing concepts, and you and I can compare notes. Hmm. Okay, what about this one? Oh, uh, that one's finished. It's already at the printer, so we can file it. I read that one. Should be in the dead file. Boring. <laughs> well, you better not let Allison hear you say that. It's one of her favorites. <clears throat> Don't let Allison hear you say what? Uh, we were just going over the list. Robin, would you excuse us for a few minutes? Please? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Allison, I hope Madison, you I want to talk with you about your next two projects, please. Okay. <sighs> I must say, I'm impressed how quickly you've adapted to Benton Publishing's deadline-driven pace. Well, thank you. In the short time you've been here, your editorial skills have improved. Uh, uh, it's nice to know hard work pays But you still need more fine-tuning. And I'd like to see more progress before you're taken off probation. Understood. Is there anything in particular I can address? As a matter of fact, there is. The two manuscripts you're working on, what Blown Away and Your Numbers Up, now are top priority for the firm. I want them on a fast track so all the deadlines have been accelerated. You'll have to work closely with the writers to see that they're met. I can handle that. This is a big test for you, Madison. Hope you can pass it. Uh, Allison? I really appreciate this opportunity, and I won't let you down. I'm counting on it. I was glad you suggested drinks, Veronica. I was going to ask you first, but wasn't sure if it was appropriate, you know, you being my new boss and all. <laughs> Stop it. Stop. <laughs> well, I think it's important to get to know the people that you work so closely with. Oh, I do, too. Look, I have some ideas for the show. I'd love to run by you. Maybe we can work on them together. That is such a coincidence. I wanted to run some ideas by you as well. Really? Yeah. But first, you know, I'd like to, to get to know you. Mm. Yeah. Um, 
married? Kids? Oh, no. No. None no? of the above. No. Really? <laughs> I am completely free and available. Yeah? Yeah. What about Alex? But I know that, um, I know he's not married, but if, is there a significant other? What about that, uh, that little lady that he brought to the party? Is that like a, a serious thing? Yeah, I can't really speak for Alex Veronica. We're not all that close. But I thought you wanted to know about me. I do. Mm. I absolutely do. This is just more, um, it's more like big picture stuff. You know, trying to assess the dynamics and the chemistry between you and Alec. You know, for branding purposes. Oh, okay. Okay, well, um, I've been divorced going on five years now after a very brief marriage. But I've been looking for a new Foxy, Mrs. Fox, ever since. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so what about you? Uh-huh, what about me? Is there a Mr. Isaacs oh. or Little Isaacs running around? No. I'm completely committed to my career. As a black woman, you don't get to be the head of a major networks programming division without solely committing to the challenge. Mm -hmm. So why did you leave one of the four big networks for a little fledgling startup like this? Honestly? When the opportunity presented itself to be a big fish in a little pond, as opposed to a guppy in a sea of sharks, I had to take it. I like that. You do? Yeah. It's a big fish. It's a big fish. Thank you. Hi. Hey, you made it. Yeah. Wait, are we really going to the Giants' first preseason game? Well, we absolutely are. We're going in style, too. Check that out. The Scott Box? That's right. Cool. And I got you some passes after the game. You can go in the locker room and meet the players. The locker room? Oh, that's so dope. <laughs> and you, I hope you brought your camera. Oh, no really problem without it. <laughs> I hope you got a lot of memory because I got you a field pass so you can go down and take action shots for your portfolio. <gasps> Mr. Darby, thank you. That means a lot to me. Okay, okay <laughs> now let's go. The car's waiting for us outside. Um, hey, you know, they already like you. You don't have to bribe them. Well, I'm not bribing them. I'm spoiling them. There's a big difference, you know. Yeah, I know. And neither one is necessary. Well, just let me worry about it. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. You know, I don't know if it was pure joy or pure fear on Jackie's face. He looked like an ant surrounded by all those big dudes. <laughs> I think it was probably a little bit of both. I don't think he knew whether to revel in it or run from it. But seriously, babe, thank you for spoiling my kids today. Oh, I think I had just as much fun as they did. Oh, my gosh. Did you see Chloe's face when you introduced her to that quarterback? She was seriously crushing. <laughs> well, only crush I noticed was the one I have on you. We're pretty good together. We are. I love that. Me too. And I love you even more. Is safe with me, I promise. Oh my, no, no, I love this show. Over here, just a couple of questions. Oh, 
for dinner but you're early she's not home yet yeah i know i was kind of hoping i could talk to you and jackie for a second is he here yeah come on in hey jackie come here well as you guys know your mom and i have been spending a lot of time together lately yeah she hasn't been as hyped as she is now in a long time <laughs> totally well that's good i'm uh totally hyped about it too <laughs> but uh seriously um i've come to care about your mom a lot and you guys as well and i was wondering how you would feel about us becoming a family officially officially i want to marry your mom if that's okay with you now Look, I know you have a dad, and I'm not trying to replace him or come between you guys in any way. But um, I genuinely love you guys, and I want to be a part of your lives. If that's all right, how do you feel about it? Will there be a wedding and everything? Well, I hope so. <laughs> Wait, so would you come live with us, or...? No, no, um, I was thinking that maybe we would buy a big new house with enough room for everybody, and maybe a pool in the backyard. A pool? Oh, the backyard That's is dope! All right, so when we move... Oh, hold on, hold on, slow down, man. First things first, I still gotta ask her, okay? And that's where you guys come in, I need your help. All right, I'm trying to surprise her, so you can't say anything. Okay. Hi. All right, cool. Now, wait till you hear my plan. It's kind of lit, lit, right? Lit, yeah. Okay. It's kind of lit. It's kind of lit, if I do say so myself. So, come so what's the plan? All right, here's what we're going to do. Well, DeMarco, we've been over this before. You know the owners don't care anything about the players. They care about filling stadiums, ratings, and battening up bank accounts. So what if they bang their heads together and get brain damage? <laughs> See, there, there you go again. The owners cared enough to institute new safety measures, right? They've gotten safer helmets. They moved the kickoff line closer to the end zone. And what about eliminating chop blocks, horse collar tackles, and hits on defenseless players? You know what, DeMarco? I think you're right. Kind of. I mean, we don't really know if any of this stuff is going to make any difference, but at least they are making an effort to mitigate the damage, so I'll give you credit for that one. <laughs> Whoa. For once you're taking a sensible point of view? Are you, you okay? <laughs> or did you get a brain transplant? Or maybe maybe you're getting soft in your old age? No, man. I'm, I'm not getting old and I'm not getting soft. Something amazing has happened. 
have fallen hard so hard that i think it's time i do something what madison i love you more than i can say whoa 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 what the what the hell is going on here just just wait just wait. Get your hands off me man i've grown to love chloe and jackie as though they were my own and i think we can build a future together Let's get married. What do you say? Wow. Okay. All right. That's it. Okay. Stop it. I want you to cut it, Jarrell. No, cut it. No, Jarrell. Keep going. Stop. Let Frank. Cut it now. Stop it now. Cut. <laughs> so let's do it. Really? Let me see. Everyone wants to know if you said yes. They're mad the show cut just right after the proposal. And the network's making everyone go to their website just to see the answers. <laughs> so classic. But GTN immediately posted congratulations with pictures and bios and features on both of you. Yeah. And I just posted a big she said yes on all your socials with pictures. And I'm trying to keep up with all the congrats coming in, but I can hardly keep up. There's just too many. <laughs> all right. Well, it sounds like we'll have to be planning a wedding soon. But um, speaking of which, Chloe, I hope you'll agree to be my maid of honor. Maid of honor? All right, you most certainly better want my best stuff. I really love that. Oh, okay. thank you. <laughs> Jackie, can you get the door? Um, it's probably your dad. And then can you guys give us some privacy, please? Yeah. Okay. What's up? What's up, champ? Dad. Hey, princess. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> hey, Jake. Thank you for coming. Hey, man. Go ahead and have a seat. I, uh, so I hear congratulations are in order. So, you know. How could I not? It's everywhere. It's gone viral. It's all over the news. Family, friends blowing me up. Look, Jake, I am so sorry. I mean, I should have called you to tell you about Alec much sooner. You shouldn't have had to find out about this like this. Hey, no worries. I kind of felt like something like this was going to happen. You know, social media's been tracking every move for a while now. Even before the big engagement. Jake, I hope you realize that It's I... okay. I'm good. I just want to know. So well do you know this guy anyway? I mean, he's moved in pretty fast. I mean... I'm still Jackie and Chloe's dad. I just want to make sure that they're safe and happy. All right, well then, let me assure you that Alec has no intention of trying to replace you. He's a good man, and he loves us. Mm-hmm. So do I. Look, I know I blew it. You gave me a second chance to get my family back, and I threw it all away. Put a fancy, fake bobble. I had the real diamond right here all along. I wish... I wish it could have been us. Part of me wishes that too. <sighs> Look at you. All in the line like now. <laughs> we autograph or something, maybe. I don't know. Just joking. But seriously, I really hope, um, what's his name? Alec. Yeah. Um, I really hope he gives you everything I could. Well, <sighs> Got a thing and uh Oh yeah, no, I I want yeah. to keep you. Sorry. Who approved it, Frank? And why wasn't I told? Oh, come on, Veronica. It's fun. And the PR is great for the show. Don't you dare make a programming decision like this without consulting with me or my department first. What are you getting so tweaked about? Look, I bet our ratings spiked. Right? This is this is uh dope. 
Right? Folks be buzzing about this. You're kidding me right now, right? Okay, don't be coming in here with your broke down, patronizing, hip hop slang at me. All right? And don't you ever go live with a publicity stunt like this without checking in with me first. Listen to me. Hmm? Don't think you can run all over me just because I'm new around here. You report to me, Frank. Okay? And I expect a full report next time you change the format of the biggest show on the network. Are we clear? Understood. But I still don't see why you're getting so upset. I didn't really change the format. I just added like a surprise ending. I don't like surprises, Frank, and I won't tolerate it. Okay. Sorry to interrupt, but uh, I think you guys might want to see this. Well, would you look at that? Our social stats are through the roof. What did she say is trending? Our website is blowing up. Our traffic is up 37%. Wipe the smug look off your face. You wanted to see me? Madison. I understand you have a lot going on right now. But that doesn't excuse you being behind on your deliverables. I'm still waiting for rewrites on Blown Away and your notes from your numbers up from Friday's meeting. I know. I'm sorry, but um, last weekend got away from me and I wasn't able to finish, but you'll have everything by COB today. And your report on third quarter titles is due tomorrow. I need it so I can proof it and fine tune it before I present it to the board next week. I'm working on that too. You'll have it by tomorrow. Congratulations to you, Madison. But I hope you realize you cannot let your personal life get in the way of your work. As I said, these projects have a high priority. I understand that and um, I'm... I'm sorry. I have to ask if you're still interested in keeping this job. Hmm? I see great potential in you, but only when you keep your nose to the grindstone. Allison, I assure you that my personal commitments will in no way interfere with my professional commitments to the work here at Benton. You'll have everything today. See that I do. Oh, baby, can you get that? That's Alec. Thank you. Hey. hey. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Hi. Hey. How are you? Please forgive me for uh, flaking on our date tonight. Oh, no. I will forgive you as long as you promise not to do it on Friday. Okay? It's kind of a big deal, and I need my favorite fiancé with me. I'm sorry, what you mean your favorite fiancé? I better be your only fiancé. And what's the big deal about Friday? Uh, Veronica has me hosting this celebrity fundraiser. They're trying to raise money for that family that lost the two kids in the illegal police raid. These police are still out of control. That is such a tragedy. Well, these people are starting to recognize. Yeah. And GTN is really stepping up, too. They're organizing this thing with a bunch of celebrities and sports stars and political dignitaries across the country. They want to amplify the outcry of the people, you know. Mm. They want to do their part in keeping the people calm, but at the same time getting justice for the family. Yeah, well, you know, racial prejudice is the original sin in this country, so the only reason our voices are being heard finally is because we're not the only ones screaming. Mm -hmm. The work that you and GTN are doing is important, so of course, I wouldn't be anywhere else but by your side. Well, I'm glad you feel that way because you know, that's not really my kind of thing. I know. But I feel like I can do anything when I'm with you, so. Aw, you need me. You really need me. No, I do. <laughs> okay, love booze. We need to talk about this wedding. Wait, ain't, ain't nobody wearing the presents. presents. What's up, Madison? Uh, I've submitted the author's final rewrite for Blown Away, but your numbers up won't be ready for a few hours. Would it be all right if I proofread it over the weekend and got it to you first thing Monday morning? I'm afraid Monday's too late. I promised they would both go to the printer today. You know how tight the deadlines are on this. Uh, you'll have to work tonight. I'm sorry. No, I understand. Good answer.
Hey, honey, it's me. Hey, babe. Uh, I'm gonna come by and pick you up in about an hour, okay? I gotta shoot by the studio first. Look, Alec, I am so sorry, but... But what? Oh, no, don't tell me you're canceling, please. Not tonight. It's just, I have a deadline, and I'm still waiting for a draft to prove. On a Friday night? I told you, this is really important. I know, I know. It's just that Allison needs me. Okay, but hey, what about what I need? Look, honey... Try to understand how important this is to me. And this is important to me, Madison. Listen, if I get done early enough, I'll try to get by there, okay? All right, you know what, Madison? Never mind. Don't worry about it. Don't put yourself out. I'll talk to you later. The draft to your numbers up is in your inbox. Just came in. Thanks. Mr. Fox, a couple questions, please. Okay. Chloe, here's what I need. Candid shots. They're the best kind to get at an event like this. Capture people in action. I want to know who was here, who came with who, who's talking to who. Get the whole story with pictures. I want anyone who wasn't here to feel like they were. You got that? Yeah, I got it. Oh, this is so great. Althea, thank you so much for this chance. I'm on it. All right, go. Oh, Ms. Isaacs. Hi. Hi. Hello, excuse me. Hi, welcome, welcome, welcome. You know, we want the people of this city and across the country to know that GTN stands for justice and for the celebrities, movers and shakers are standing up to tonight. That's the important message that I want everyone to take from this. Actually, you know what? Why don't you all just move into the banquet room and there'll be more time for more questions, more photos. Okay. Thanks. Hey, I'm so glad you made it. Wow. Um... No wifey? No fiancé? Uh, no. Madison couldn't make it tonight. Oh, wow. That's too bad. Anyway, um, be sure to acknowledge the mayor, the chief of police, and the city councilman. It's important that everyone knows who we are supporting in our effort. Okay, got it. Okay, and also don't forget to give a shout-out to all the celebrities out there. I'll be sure to get you a list, okay? And if there's time, be sure to acknowledge the grieving mother, you know, see if she is up for saying a few words. Of yeah? course, of okay. course. Okay, good. You look good, Chloe. Your instincts. Oh. Did I just the kind of shots that? we need in the network? I love it. Sag, you know, it's the private moment with your star yeah. and host of the evening. Hey, 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 hey. That's not going to happen. Thank you, though. Alec, I hate that I missed last night. I really wanted to be there. Yeah, yeah, I could tell. I... Honestly, I couldn't get away. I hope you know that. What I know is that I told you how much it meant to me. You promised me you had other things to do. My job, Alec. It's my job. And it's as important to me as yours is to you. I'm just trying to see where I fit in. You know, like, it's the kids, then the job, then me. Okay. You knew what my life was when you asked me to marry you. Alec, I am struggling in this probationary period of my job. A job that you convinced me and encouraged me that I could do. And this is about my self-respect and my pride and the kind of person I want to be in this world. You of all people I would think would understand that. I know you do. I... I do. I understand. I just... I miss you. We haven't spent any time together and I just... I miss you. I miss you too. And... And I promise I won't make it up to you if you'll let me. <laughs> you gonna make it up to me? <laughs> if the kids are here. <laughs> uh, all right. 
I tell you what, I have this thing next Friday, I think, this remote thing in D.C. We can go out there, we can have a good time, we can... What? Next weekend. Yeah. Oh, okay, so I have this big board meeting coming up, and I am the point person, and I'm in charge of getting all the presentation materials. I can't let Allison down, and then the kids, I don't... The kids will be fine. I mean, maybe their dad can come check on them for a change. And can't you get the weekend off? It's a weekend. No, I can't. I just, I just told you. Yeah, okay. You know, I'm starting to wonder if you have time for me in your life, let alone a marriage. Okay, it's one weekend. You want to blow up our engagement over one weekend? No, it's not just one weekend. It's the weekend, it's Friday, and it's the one before that. Okay, let me ask you something. Did did the lovely Veronica come up with this remote DC weekend? Is she going to be there? Are you kidding? I'm inviting you. What does that matter? I'm not interested in spending time with her. I'm inviting you because I want to spend time with you. So, Alec, if the roles were reversed... You would abandon your job to go traipsing off with me for a weekend. Well, I would at least try. No, you wouldn't. Okay, so just go to D.C. with your new boss and keep your job. And I'll stay here and try to keep mine. hasn't shown up yet. It should have been here by now. <sighs> Veronica. Hey. Oh, hey. Just getting here? Oh, yeah. Got a meeting with a sponsor in a half hour. Still waiting on a package that hasn't gotten here. Oh, no. Yeah. Alec and his little fiance shown up yet? Nah, I ain't seen him. Uh, but he told me Madison isn't coming. So something about them having to work seemed pretty pissed about it, too. Looks like there's a little trouble in paradise. Oh, really? Well, what makes you think that? He's been all out of sorts all week. Distracted and in a worse mood than usual. We know Alex. Huh. Yeah. He's been a bit more surly and hot-tempered on air. Especially with you. Well, maybe he needs a little break, too. Sort out some of his personal problems, you know? Huh. I'll say you and I get together later. Work out a plan for the show. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You know what? Um, I am running late, so I'll check all three of us in, put on the company card, and... I'll be right back. Excuse me. Okay. These are looking pretty good. Oh, this last document needs some minor tweaking, but I think we pretty much have what we need for Monday's board meeting. I must say, I'm impressed. You all pulled everything together with a minimum of drama and a maximum of precision. So, I know you've worked long hours this week, so the good news is... We won't be working this weekend like I thought. Go home. Get some rest. Hey, keep your cell phones close in case I have any questions. Um, Madison, do you mind staying for just a minute? Sure. I just wanted to say, I knew from the day we met you had what it takes. You're a conscientious worker, a fast learner, and you've proven to be a real asset to Benton Publishing. Thank you, Allison. No, thank you for organizing all these materials for the board. I, I know it's to your credit it was all done so efficiently and quickly. Well, I'm just glad we got it done. <laughs> Congratulations. What? Congratulations, you passed your probation. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> HR will be in touch about your new salary. Good job. Oh, thank you so much, Alice. Now go. Enjoy your weekend. Much needed, well deserved, I might add. Lainey, guess what? I'm off probation and I got a raise. What? Congrats, girl. You worked hard for that bad boy. Oh, girl. Hey, but listen, I need a huge... Best thing I could ever do for me is love myself.
favor. Can you check on the kids this weekend? I want to surprise Alec in D.C. I can't wait to tell him the news. All right, of course. I'll watch out for the kids. Okay, but especially Chloe. Something is up with her. Really? Like what? I don't know, but maybe she'll tell you. Thank you so much. Hey. All right, look, so here's your key card. Okay. Alex is at the front desk when he checks in. Listen, um, could you do me a favor? Sure, anything. I'm late for my meeting, and my package still hasn't gotten here. Do you mind just waiting for it until it gets here? Yeah, of course. Okay, look, it's marked personal and confidential, and it's coming by special courier. I called them and had them put your name on it. No worries, I'll take care of it. Okay. And maybe we can discuss those ideas for the show over dinner later? Yeah, of course. Look, um, just put my key in my room with the package when it's there, okay? Okay. And, uh, take that too? Yeah. You're amazing. I got you. Yep. Sweet 200, huh? Nice. <laughs> Darby, checking in? Yes, Mr. Darby. He already checks in. Here's your key. Sweet 200. Thank you. Hey, you made it. Yeah, of course I made it. Hey, you got the call time for tomorrow? Nah, not yet. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Hey. Hey, Chloe, what's going on? Um. Something bothering you? Lainey, I saw something so messed up, and I don't know what to do about it. Well, have you talked it over with your mom? Ugh, I tried. I just couldn't figure out how to. And why not? Because it's about Alec. I saw him kissing that new boss of his at the fundraiser the other night. Are you sure? Look. I took it at the fundraiser and printed it out to give to mom, but I just couldn't do it. You don't need to worry about this, Chloe. Your mother's a very smart woman. If if Alec is cheating on her, she'll know about it. Just get some rest for now, and we'll figure out what to do with this in the morning. Okay. Good night. Good night. you get in here um well this is the key front desk gave me i guess there must have been some kind of mistake i'm sorry if uh, I no, no no it's 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 that's odd because i'm the one who checked everyone in um you know what i'll call downstairs and get this whole thing straightened out you sure uh, yeah i was i was actually going to call you anyway because i was going to set up a dinner meeting with you and demarco for tomorrow's shoot oh yeah so you know why don't you just uh well, make yourself a drink at the bar, and I'll go change into something, you know, more comfortable, and we can get going. Oh. Okay? Okay. Good? Yeah. Good. All right. You know, so I can probably get you on set. Madison, hey. Oh. What are you doing here? Alex said you wasn't coming. Yeah, um, I finished work early. I thought I'd surprise him. Oh, cool. Uh, well, he's in suite 200. And I just so happen to have an extra key, so why don't you take it and really surprise it? Thank you, Mr. Marco. Sure. Oh, thank you. Here. So what are we doing in the morning? so we could have a romantic weekend. Hey, I changed my mind. I thought we'd do the appetizer first. What is she doing here? Excuse me, me? This is my room. How did you get in here? Madison, there's been a mistake. Yeah, there's been a mix-up, and it's you who made it. No, 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 I didn't. Look, look, the front desk gave me the... Do I look key. stupid to you? Well, you don't have to go away mad. We didn't know you were coming. Obviously. Oh. What the hell is this? I know. Do you like it? <laughs> oh, stop. Come on. It's just a little mix-up. Hey. It's probably for the best. You know? I mean, come on. What are you seeing her anyway? I could do so much more for you. 
career wise. What are you suggesting? Boss. Some kind of quid pro quo. Isn't that illegal? I thought she was staying till tomorrow. <sighs> Lainey. What is wrong with men? Why do they have to constantly play more than one woman at a time? Or is it just me? Maybe it's just me. But you know what? I know this. I'm not doing this again. I'm not going to lay in a bed for the rest of my life next to a man that I don't know that I can trust. I'm done. Tell me what happened. Nothing. I just, you know, I found Alec in a hotel room with his barely dressed boss. Oh, no. I was afraid of that. Wait, what? You knew about this? Chloe took this last week at the funds raiser. So this must be what she's been trying to tell me this whole time. Poor baby. Yeah. You know, so the fundraiser, this has been going on for a long time. And the thing is, you know, I saw it. I knew she was going to go after him. And I, I warned him. Why don't you leave things? I just left. I mean, he's been calling. My phone was blowing up. Finally, I just turned it off because there's nothing he can say. I went to the train station and I just I Mom? sat there for hours trying to wait for hey. the train to come this morning. Hey, You're hey, back. guys. Hey, ah, uh, good morning. Have a seat. Jackie, sit down. Uh, we need to talk. Nothing to say to you, Alec. You don't have to say anything. Just listen. Look, I'm not going anywhere until you do. Fine. Say what you need to say and then go. You know how to let me in? No. What do you want? The hotel gave me the wrong key. It was a mistake. A simple mistake. I didn't do anything that you're thinking I did. Okay, just stop. All right, blah, blah, blah. I've heard it all before. Nothing happened. It's, it's not what it looks like. I love you and only you, blah, blah. Please. Goodbye. Alec. Hey, girl. Just thought I'd check on you. Have time for lunch? 
No. Amy, I'm having take your ring and go to hell for lunch today. Well, hey, I better go with you just in case if you're a real smoker guy so you go straight to hell. Dan, cut. Thank you, guys. All right, everyone, that is a wrap. What is wrong with you, man? You need to check your attitude. Okay. So there are my two starlets. You guys, I heard that shoot last weekend went amazingly well. Yeah, it was fantastic. Oh, man. <sighs> that hasn't changed. <laughs> playing games, DeMarco. Hmm. Okay, you told me, remember? That the little fiancé wasn't coming, and then you gave her my room key, didn't you? So why would you do something like that, DeMarco? Why'd you give it to me in the first place? Oh, God. If you knew you were going to book Alec all up in there... Your job was to leave the package and leave the key in my room. Hmm. That's all. And somehow the front desk got it all mixed up, and... Alec had another room. So what was I, Veronica, huh? The backup? The second place consolation prize in case it didn't work out with Darby? You are so delusional. I'm delusional. You really are. <laughs> in the first place, as delighted as I am that it turned out the way it did, I had no idea Alec was going to be in my room. And somehow you just refuse to get the message in the second and third place that I don't want you. So you admit you were going after Alec? This is your whole little thing that you do, huh? That's why you wanted me to fire For God's sake, this someone cut his mic. I knew that she was after him all along. And the thing that really makes me furious is that he let her catch him. No. Nope. Not even for a second. times do I have to tell you the only woman that I want catching me is you your lies aren't gonna cut it Alec Madison why don't you believe me nothing happened now look I understand you've been through a lot and it's hard but eventually you're gonna have to trust somebody I was hoping it would be me I can't trust a liar Hello. Hey, glad you're back. Hey. Mom, Lainey, this is Althea Avent. Althea, this is my mom and her friend. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Althea came over to share some pictures that she took from the event the other night. It wasn't what I thought. He walked away. <sighs> Althea, thank you so much for bringing these. I'm a storyteller. It's what I do. Bring the truth to light. Um, can you make sure that the kids get something to eat? Yes, of course. Nice meeting you. You too. Great. Just what I need. What could you possibly want, Madison? What do I want? I want to know why a beautiful intelligent woman with a stellar career who could probably have any man she wanted would choose to go after a man who already is committed to somebody else i mean shouldn't there be some kind of sisterhood among sisters if the shoe were on the other foot how would you feel oh dear god just say that i don't know what the heck you're talking about i really really don't well you should probably know that i overheard the conversation between you and demarco fox okay good for you apparently the whole world was listening but if you come in here implying no no, no 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 i'm not implying anything you didn't hear me i said i was listening when you said that you didn't care that alec is engaged to me so how do you justify that I can't justify 
it at all. And you should know, to Alex's credit, that he made it very clear that he wasn't interested, no matter how hard I tried. But you still gave him the hardcore press, so why? I did. <laughs> For years. their positions, their power over me for their personal pleasure. They tried because they could. Really? I mean, I tried to do to Alec what I've been fighting my entire career. Because I could. That's not a good look. Madison, will you please accept my apology? Truly, and I, I, I hope that you and Alec go on to have a happy marriage. I do. Thank you, Veronica, for the truth. Hey. I really hope I find someone someday who loves me the way Alec loves you. I hope you do, too. things they have um influenced the way that i see the world perhaps tainted i've seen pretty things presented to disguise the ugly and i've had lies presented to me to disguise the truth and with you alec all that comes with you, it just, it scared me. Because I didn't want to wake up in another nightmare. But I realized, Alec, that you are my dream come true. So, can you please forgive me? Ever. 
listen, I can't talk long, but I need a huge favor, and you can't tell a soul. You in? Hey, Jam. What's going on? Where's your mom? Uh, Lainey said it's a surprise. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but well, look, look, I, I, I got stuff to do, all right? What's, what's going on? Yeah, what's up with all the secrecy? I guess it can't be good. Listen, everybody calm down. All I know is Madison wanted you all to be here tonight. Surprise! Hi! Hi! What's up, man? Congratulations. Oh, man, she about to murder this guy after what he just did? Yes, nothing happened. It was all a big misunderstanding. Listen, get over it, Madison. Dude. I didn't think that bro was ever gonna get jumped. <laughs> <laughs> but mom, I promised I could give you away. I know, sweetheart. I did, and I'm really sorry. I hope you'll be able to forgive me. It's just that Alec and I. We've just been through so much, and we couldn't wait another minute. But listen, we are going to have the biggest party just for you and Chloe. Wait, just for us? Yes. We're going to have uh, dancing and, and food and tons of people. <laughs> come on, don't sulk. Let's go tell our friends. Oh, and we got to post on the social. Oh, the Darby's will be trending. Come on. <laughs> uh, every, everybody just listen. Uh, every, everybody listen, please. Maddie, I cannot say that I'm not hurt that you're happy that I ever made you. But if anybody deserves it, it's you. Congratulations. Thanks, Jake. Appreciate that, man. Oh, I mean, we thank all of you for your love and support. We wouldn't be here without you. You guys are our village. We're here, here. Okay, everyone, let's get ready to cheers for Mr. and Mrs. Alec Darby. Yeah. <laughs>